Welcome to Chord Wizard, the essential guide for guitar and other fretboard instruments. The following videos will show how Chord Wizard helps you excel at rhythm playing, lead playing, and songwriting. For now, let's get started with a guided tour. There are five different views in the Chord Wizard workspace Library, Design, Relations, Scales, and Tutorials view. We can switch between them at any time by clicking on these tabs. We'll start with Library View. This shows you how to play chords on your instrument with chord shapes. First, we select the chord in the chord matrix here. If we want to play a D major 7 chord, we find the column for D and the row for major 7 and click in the cell. The cell has the number 5 in it, which tells us there are five chord shapes we can use for D major 7. And here they are. At higher playing levels, there are many more. The selected chord shape appears in full detail on the fretboard. As we move between chord shapes in the list, we can see how each one is played. We can find new chord shapes with Design View. Chord Wizard still remembers that we are interested in D major 7. We can have it search the entire fretboard for other chord shapes we can use. You may be surprised at how many there are. Design View can also identify chord shapes that you've made up. As we change each string, Chord Wizard analyzes the notes in the chord shape to find out what chord it makes. The next view is Relations, which shows the relationships between chords and scales. This is important for songwriting and improvisation. For songwriting, you select the scale of your song in the scale matrix here. The notes of the scale appear on the fretboard, and the related chords are indicated over here with red dots. These are the chords that are likely to go well with your new song. For improvisation, you select the chord you are improvising with over here. The notes of the chord appear on the fretboard, and the related scales are indicated over here. You could use any of these to improvise over G7. Let's choose this one, the C major scale. Your hand can't get to all of these notes at once, so scales on the fretboard are played in positions that cover about four frets each. Scales view lets us explore and practice all the scale positions that we can use. The first position of C major is already showing on the fretboard. Wherever we find a highlight label like this, we can click to see a different position. Or we can step through the other scale positions in turn with these two buttons. Chord Wizard can give us an animated demonstration of any scale position we find using a single practice session. It plays the notes through once and then repeats silently so we can practice it. Each of the views so far have the fretboard in the same orientation, with the head at the left and the bass string at the top, like a mirror image. However, Chord Wizard can show the fretboard in any orientation. Left-handers may prefer to have the head on the right, and we can change this with the workspace options. The last view in the workspace is Tutorials view. This contains the multimedia How Music Works tutorials that explain what music is all about. There are nine tutorials, and we can open each one to show the topics. When you click on a topic heading, the topic appears over here on the right. The tutorials are filled with over 600 demonstration sounds, so you can see, hear, and understand all of the concepts being covered before exploring them further in Chord Wizard. As you progress through them, you will learn how notes form chords and scales, and how you can use the relationships between them to create great music. Music <laughs>